A quick summary of what people are overlooking from the Q224 call from Tesla and Elon Musk covered here. Um, I guess that that's really just a question of when to expect the first, when can we do unsupervised full self-driving? Um, it's difficult, obviously, uh, my, optim my, my predictions on this have been overly optimistic in the past. So, um, I mean, based on the current trend, it seems as though we we should get miles between interventions uh, to be high enough uh, that it's too far enough in excess of humans that you could do unsupervised possibly by the end of this year. I would be shocked if we cannot do it next year. So. Next year seems highly probable to me based on points simply plus the points of the curve of miles between intervention. That trend exceeds uh, humans for sure next year. So, yeah. Uh, what is the current status of 4680 battery cell production and how is the ramp up progressing? Yeah. Uh, 4680 production ramped strongly in Q2, delivering 51% more cells than Q1, while reducing cogs significantly. Uh, we currently produce more than 1,400 cyber trucks of 4680 cells per week, and we'll continue to ramp output as we drive costs down further towards the cost parity target we set for the end of the year. We've built our first validation cyber truck with dry cathode process made on our mass production equipment, which is a huge technical milestone, and we're super proud of that. Uh, we're on track. Uh, for production launch with the dry cathode um, in Q4. And this will enable cell cost to be significantly below available alternatives, which was the original goal of the 4680 program. Yeah, so so Dojo, um, uh, I should preface this by saying I'm incredibly impressed by NVIDIA's execution and the, the capability of their hardware. Um, and what we are seeing is that um, the demand for NVIDIA hardware is so high that uh, it's often difficult to get the GPUs. Um, and uh, there the, the just seems this, I, I guess I'm quite concerned about actually being able to get state-of-the-art NVIDIA GPUs when, when we want them. Um, and uh, I think this therefore requires that we um, Put a lot more effort on Dojo in order to have, in order to ensure that we've got the training capability that we need. Uh, so we are going to double down on Dojo, uh, and we do see a path to being competitive with Nvidia with with Dojo. And I think we we, we kind of have no choice because um, the demand for Nvidia is so high, and and the the, the, the it's it's obviously there their obligation essentially to raise the price of GPUs to whatever the market will bear, uh, which is very high. So uh, I think we, we've, um, we've really got to make Dojo work and we will.